Welcome back to my channel. As you can probably tell from the title, I, Jessica, have collaborated with ColourPop to curate my own collection, and I am so freaking excited. I have done this intro at least like 60 times now. I'm so extremely grateful to be able to do something like this with ColourPop. I have been a big fan of ColourPop for many, many years and it's really been a big part of my life here on this channel as well. I have so many of you guys to thank for all the love and support. It truly means the world to me that I have so many people out there who want to support me. It I don't know why I'm getting emotional. What the heck? <laughs> to have your name on anything ColourPop is such an exciting and amazing achievement. I literally would never think that this day would ever come. And I know it's not like a collab necessarily where I'm creating my own products, but this is still something that's like super special because I get to put things that I truly love and have loved for so long from ColourPop and put it together to share with you guys and to present you guys with something that means a lot to me. I promise I'm gonna get into the products, but there's just some things that I just want to say and express and explain. I'm gonna really quickly breeze through my like history and relationship with ColourPop. It all started about five years ago when I purchased my very first ColourPop items and they were Super Shock Shadows. Back then, that's all ColourPop did, and I instantly was obsessed. So the next thing I ordered was from a company called ColourPop Cosmetics. The first color I got is in the color Sequin. The next color I got is in the color Tea Party. It's so pretty. Once they started coming out with lippy sticks and lippy pencils, I literally was buying something like every week, every two weeks, I was placing a new order. And one fateful day, I got an email from ColourPop telling me how much they appreciated the support and how they would love to send me their new Halloween lip collection. And I was just, they were pretty much the very first company to send me PR and I just I was on cloud nine their Halloween collection was I believe three lippy pencils and lippy sticks It was like green this like silvery shade and a black I was really excited instantly took pictures did my lip swatches which were I was they were not that great back then shortly afterwards I got another email from ColourPop telling me that they would love me <laughs> to do lip swatches of all of their lippy sticks and lippy pencils for their website. I, of course, was like, yes, not realizing, wow, it was a lot of work, but they sent me all of their lipsticks, I did all of the swatches, and I did lip swatches for them for a really long time. Throughout the years, people have expressed how much they want me to collaborate with ColourPop, but I truly believe that I had i have collaborated with ColourPop. i worked with them i did photos for them and i built a relationship with them over years and i love them so much as like people so i think that was like such a huge thing for me which just made me love and appreciate the company even more so obviously throughout the years collections and videos and just being a whole part of like all of this ColourPop journey is like it's been it's been crazy ColourPop has come out with a lot of products as we all know every week is like a new thing but this collection that I've put together kind of highlights my favorite products from ColourPop which are Super Shock Shadows, Lippy Pencil, and an Ultra Satin Lip. I firstly want to talk about why I kind of chose this theme, this style, and it really just comes to one thing like when I think of beauty, beautiful things, I think of like nature and flowers and bees. I have a strange love for bees. I don't know where it came from and I don't know why. I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed a lot of bee things popping up in like my, my fashion, my everyday. I have like this beautiful little necklace. I have this earring that I've had for ages. My ring, like just so many things. Oh, my nails. Let's not forget about my nails. But I just am attracted to bees. I don't know why. And I really wanted to do something really fun to kind of like embody that. I will get into the name, which kind of has to do with a little bit of the packaging as well. I like it. And that's just pretty much it. <laughs> this is the Super Shock Shadow Foursome. I named it Forget Me Not because first things first, with my floral bee theme, Forget Me Not is a really beautiful flower and we made sure to include that in the packaging. I also put a beautiful little peony because peonies are also one of my favorite flowers ever. I also thought it was really cute because I don't want to forget what kind of got me started into ColourPop and what started ColourPop as a 
brand overall is Super Shock eyeshadows and two of the eyeshadows that I've included in this kit are the very first eyeshadows that I actually purchased from Colourpop. It just kind of like plays homage to Don't Forget, Forget Me Not, the Super Shock shadows. We shall never forget. I promise you. Also a quick little side story, me and my mom went to Seattle a few weeks ago on a little vacation and one of our last days in Seattle we went to a really cute boutique and I was just browsing like their jewelry and they had a little dish with a few little rings in it. In that group of rings there was a band and on that band it said forget me not and I had already chosen the name that I wanted to put on the Super Shock foursome so seeing that ring I was just kind of like of course I bought it and it's right here on my thumb. It's just, I don't know, it just, did it mean something? Maybe, maybe not, but just thought I would include that in there really quickly. That brings me to the lip bundle and why I named it the name I chose. And it is Jess Shade. If you've been following me for a while, you know that when I really love a certain range of lip colors, generally ranging from a pinky nude, a dusty rosy pink, or maybe even a mauve tone, I instantly know that it's a Jess shade. It's a shade I'm going to be wearing a long time. It's what I reach for. It's what I love. It's just like mauves and pinks and nudes and things like that. You know, I like Jess shades like mauves, pinky nudes. The perfect nudes for me, something I would definitely wear, Jess shades, of course. Only because this is a Jess shade. You guys know this. I'm attracted to shades like this. I wear them all the time. This is like an everyday Jess shade, of course. I feel like I'm going to be reaching for some of those Jess shades a lot. You guys know I have a specific lip color that I love to wear, like a Jess shade. I had to put together a little lip kit that I knew that I would love, and that's a Jess shade. And of course, it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I feel like this just really embodies the perfect lip to me, and I'm just really excited about this. I chose a lippy pencil, which I love the lippy pencils from ColourPop. It's one of my favorite lip liners ever, and I love wearing them on their own too, so you can wear it by itself or you can top it with the ultra satin lip that I chose. I love the ultra satin lip formula. I feel like it's like a really long wearing comfortable lipstick that it does as you wear it kind of matte down a little. It does transfer but it's just so comfortable and I don't mind that. It is beautiful and it's in the shade Echo Park which I believe is one of the first shades to kind of come out with the ultra satin lip line when they first introduced it and I knew that this color was an instant favorite at that time so paired together it makes this beautiful beautiful lip I love it oh and the lip liner is called Obvi I forgot to mention that now that I've told you guys like why I chose the names and the packaging and the design let's go ahead and open these up I'm gonna start off with the super shock shadows so this is the outer sleeve it's super cute and you slide it up and you have these super shock shadows inside with a bright yellow packaging, the honeycomb detail, and the back. I love the back of this. It's so pretty, and I have all the shade names. So I chose Tea Party, Sequin, Millionaire, and Ritz. These are my four picks. I absolutely love these. I am so happy I chose these. So the two shadows I was telling you guys earlier that were like two very first eyeshadows that I ever purchased, it was Sequin and Tea Party. These I loved for so long. I wore these like literally every day after I bought them. For my lid color, I'm gonna be using this beautiful color by ColourPop Cosmetics in the color sequin. Next color I'm gonna be taking by ColourPop is in the color Tea Party. So I definitely wanted to include these in the Forget Me Not collection. And then we have the shade Ritz and Millionaire. These are also such beautiful, beautiful shades. Right up my alley. Of course, I used these shadows to create the look today. I will be showing you guys how I got this look, as well as swatching on my arm, swatching each shade on my eye. So we'll get into all of that soon, but I just kind of wanted to introduce the little shadows to you guys. And we have the lip bundle, which can we just acknowledge for like a quick second, the fact that it says curated by Messy Jesse has my name on it. Like, so this is the packaging and then this is the back and it has like the names of the two products inside. Let's open her up. And these are two lip products inside which you can totally wear by themselves or pair together to make the most magical, beautiful lip combo. Along with this amazing, beautiful collection, I also now have my own favorites page on ColourPop's website where you can shop all my favorite products. I sat down 
and try to think of everything that I absolutely love from ColourPop and we've put it together on one page so it's easy for you to find and you can shop my favorites and I think that's so exciting and so fun. The link will be down below if you guys want to check that out. Also I thought I would mention that I do have a code with ColourPop which is like super exciting in itself. It's Jessie and if you guys choose to shop my favorites or just in the near future or in the present, whatever you guys want and you guys want to use my code, I would appreciate so very much. It does support me. It is an affiliate code, but it's kind of a way to say thanks Jess for the suggestions. <laughs> now with all that talking out of the way, we can finally get into the products and swatching them and playing with them. So with that said, let's jump into how I got this eye look. I love wearing these on their own. They're definitely one of those shadows that you just pop on the lid, blend out the edges a little and you're done and it looks absolutely beautiful. But I also do love popping these on my lids with other eyeshadows as well. So for my eyeshadow palette, I'm going to go into the I Think I Love You palette. This is one of my favorite like neutral palettes from ColourPop because it pretty much has everything that I would need. It has the perfect matte shades and it has a bunch of beautiful neutral metallics. So I'm going to use this for some of the matte shades like in my crease and I'm going to go on to the super sharp shadows. I'm going to start off with this shade right here. It's like a matte soft brown and this is going to be our first transition color. I'm going to take a little bit of this darker matte brown shade and I'm going to deepen up the crease a little bit. I'm going to take a very small amount of this shade right here on a very small brush. And I'm going to pop this onto my brow bone for a little highlight. I'm basically going to do the same thing to my lower lash line. I'm going to start with a lighter brown and then work up to the darker brown. These four shades all can look good on an eye like this. And I always love a nice brown neutral eye. Sometimes I like to wear it really smoky and sometimes I like to have like a really sparkly bright lid. So with these four, I could basically use any one of these on my lids right now and they would all look amazing. It's so hard for me to choose which one I want to use. But I think I'm going to go into the shade Ritz today just because I've been wearing a lot of Nillionaire off camera and I think I want to use Ritz today. Of course, my favorite and the best way to apply Super Shock Shadows is with the finger. You just get the most pigment. This is Ritz and I'm just going to pop this on my lid. Ritz is a type of shadow that definitely gives you that really glossy wet look on the lids which I absolutely love so I just wow it's just really pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye as well. If you have long nails like me you can use a small little brush just to get into little inner corners of the eyes. I'm gonna go into Tea Party which is a really pretty like sparkly peachy shade and I'm gonna pop this on the inner corners of my eyes. Let's try to add one more color. This one is Nillionaire. I love this one so much. It's a beautiful bronzy brown, but it has kind of like a pinky gold glitter all throughout it. So you get different types of shifts. It's gorgeous. I am going to apply a little bit on my lower lash line just to kind of like smoke it up, add more sparkle. Why not? I'm changing things up as we're going, but I actually want to take a little bit of Nillionaire. It's so pretty. And I kind of want to wear this on like the outer half of my lid just so we can add a little bit more depth, more sparkle, deepen it up a little bit. Now I'm happy. I kind of feel sad that I couldn't fit like one more Super Shock Shadow just to wear all of them, but I think this is like a lot. I'm gonna throw on some mascara really quick and I will zoom in and show you guys the final look. Now that I've showed you some of the shadows in action, I'm going to share with you guys a, a sopa, sopa up close little application of the lip bundle. It's really close. So, yeah. Now this wouldn't be a normal Jess video if I didn't show you guys some arm swatches, so let's let's do that real quick.
Street collection with ColourPop. I never thought those words would be coming out of my mouth. Like I am just beyond excited. Thank you so much ColourPop for letting me do this with you guys. This is like a dream come true and I, I feel really special. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna get emotional again. I have to give you guys a huge thank you because I swear it's you guys who put it out into the universe for this to happen. For all those people who have been supporting me and saying, when are you doing something with ColourPop? Well, here it is. And it's, it's happened. All I want is for you guys to be happy and to be proud. And I hope you guys really like what I've chosen and designed. I just, I'm so excited, you guys. Like, I, I hope you guys love it. I can't end this video without really quickly mentioning that not too long ago, I got to go to the ColourPop headquarters and I got to see my collection for the first time and film a really fun video with Shay. Oh my gosh, I got to meet Shay. If you don't know Shay, you need to know Shay. That girl, Shay XO on YouTube. Oh my gosh, like something told me I would love her like immediately and like we hit it off and she actually got to curate her own little collection with ColourPop as well. So just a little shout out to her. This is her collection, which is like really adorable. I am low key obsessed with her collection. She did an amazing job and I will let her kind of show you guys in her video, her collection. So you guys want to see what she did, go ahead and go on her channel. I will link her channel down below as well. And you guys can also watch the ColourPop video that we did on ColourPop's channel. It was really fun. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for just being there. I truly appreciate every single one of you guys so much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will put all the information, links, everything down below regarding this collection, my collection for ColourPop. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Messy Jesse Beauty, Instagram, Makeup by Jesse. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so before you go. I would appreciate it so very much. And also hit that little bell before you go so you're notified every time I post a new video. With all that said, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!